Anyways, I'm here at Action Water Sports picking up the new Big Fish 120. I'm here with David. Hey, everybody. <laughs> yeah, David's the owner. This is the place to go if you guys want a kayak anywhere in Florida. They're, they're the biggest distributor, and they're going to give you the best price. So here's the boat. Let's take a look at it, the kayak right there. Big Fish 120. I mean, this this thing is wide, stable. I mean, uh, look at this. I mean, what a, what a beautiful kayak. And uh, the price of made by Three Waters. $8.99 for this beast and um, oh this is this is really nice and take a look at this hull this is what you want to look at look at the stability on that you're gonna get it's kind of like the, uh, the secondary stability. yeah secondary stability but uh, like the uh, like a catamaran hull just like on my Mako skiff and um, I mean look at that really nice and it has an adjustable seat where um, this can go up or down go up into a high look at it it can go up into a high position yeah, like this down, yeah. or it can go right. down and uh, that's what you want for um when i'm out in the uh, in the rough water out in the channel or out in the bay like that i mean really easy but what a nice kayak 36 inches wide weighs 100 pounds but uh i got a roof rack so really nice i'm really impressed with that but but look at this action water sports here i mean they've got and there's the cart i'm gonna get the wilderness cart right here you gotta have this look at that Re really easy really easy to move but the oh oh there's my wife with the sun conure look at that guy but uh look at all the kayaks they have here i mean this this is the place to get them right here look at that there's that bass 100 look at this it's like a boat really cool but look at look at everything they have here feel free kayaks really nice here's all the hobies and here's their uh here's their pool you can try out any kayak you want right in here and then i tried out the recon 120 and i got dunked but um anyways what a great place we come out here to Auburndale and uh, we're going to put it on the rack and um, on my roof rack on the Forerunner and um, head home and I'm going to get this uh, wilderness uh, cart here. Right there. Yeah, so that's uh, the cart right there. That wilderness system heavy duty cart. It fits like any boat you wanted and you can adjust these anywhere along the, the hull to fit everything. So that's the Yeah, the cart. can we adjust it uh, before we uh, before we go so it fits us so when I when I finally get the thing off and uh, I think it's already there. Yeah, it already is. <laughs> okay. All right. Very good. Yep. And what's the price on this? Uh, these, oh, two. Looks like two nineteen. Two nineteen, but with your boat, you're getting it for two hundred. Okay. It's very good. So, yeah. Excellent. So uh, we're gonna get this bad boy on there, and uh, we'll pay for it, and uh, we'll put it on there, and uh, uh, we'll take it from there. I think we have it set up exactly. Yeah, these guys are gonna put it on here to make sure it uh, fits on here, right? Yeah. See, that's perfect. Oh, look, look at look look at that. <laughs> look, watch this. Look, I can take my hand off. Of yeah. This yeah there's nothing to it yep look at that that makes life so easy yeah it does look at that w what a beautiful kayak look at the back end of that and you can see underneath there oh that's going to be great so uh Got we're going to sacrificial skid plate right yeah I, I saw that so uh there's going to be a lot of fish put in this boat here and um i don't know whether i'm going to get a rodan for the bow but i will get one for the uh back a uh, trolling motor with the um, yak gadget put on there so uh anyways uh let's get this bad boy on the uh forerunner okay. we're in auburndale florida so you got a lot of tampa people so it's about an hour from tampa we're off, not far off of i4 off exit 44 and we're open tuesday through saturday nine to five we're closed sundays and mondays we'd invite you to come to the showroom shop for kayaks oh yeah and um you're centrally located you anybody in florida can can make it here uh, from Miami, Orlando, All Jacksonville, over. Tampa, sure. and uh, this is the best place. So, thanks for watching. <laughs> Anyways, we're gonna put this. I'm gonna pay for it now. We're gonna put this it's Big Fish 120 on the uh, on the Forerunner and uh, head home. I'm gonna I'm gonna pull the uh, Big Fish right here and uh, show you how easy it is. Here it is. My wife was pulling it around. Just just like that look at that <laughs> yeah yeah hun, hun grab that watch my wife 100 pounds four foot what 11 or 10 hon which is it <laughs> look at that look at that no problem hon 
Look at that. What a, what a beautiful uh, kayak right there. Oh, it's, there's going to be a lot of fish put in this boat right here. I tell you what. <laughs> okay, I think we got it here. I don't know if I had it recording or not, but uh, see how he has it around, flips it over. And uh, we already put this side on here. There's another strap right there. And see this right here. These are only 12 foot straps. You think, David, we could just put a strap on the front? Well, we're putting, a, instead of having the big buckle flapping Straps around. want to wiggle in the wind, the rope. Gotcha. We're going to see how this is going to ride. And, uh, you know, when I go to Cockroach Bay, I don't have very far to go. Look at the Malone roof racks. Look at them. Look at them bow. I hope they hold up. I mean, you know, you get what you pay Malone, for. Malone's a good company. Is it? Yeah. Is it? <laughs> I thought they were 179 in we the. sell these same racks. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah. They were 179 and the Thule's were 569. I said, huh, which one should I get? <laughs> and there are a lot of good reviews on these. So um, that's why I got these. Yeah, that looks pretty good. I mean, uh, when you when you tighten it down, you can move it and it shakes the car. Yeah, yeah, you're right. It does. It shakes the car, so uh, shakes the Forerunner. So there we go, right there. Not a fan of the polypropylene uh, rope, but you know, um, I'll figure something out. There's a there's a hook there's hooks on each side. Yeah, there's some hooks down below, but uh, you know, just to get it home, and uh, I probably won't even put anything on the bow when I go out because I don't have very far to go. Yeah, only when you're going on the highway. Yeah, only when I'm going on the highway, and we'll have to see how this works then. I don't know how that is, but um, I mean, we'll see. And hopefully the seat is um, well. You got you got the uh, strap over the seat, right? Yeah, the seat is bolted in. The seat's bolted in. Let's let's just check this bad boy out. Crawl up here. Well, we'll have to see. This kind of moves the seat a little bit. Maybe I'll strap it down. Hey, buddy. Yeah, Come here. I might do that so it doesn't blow upwards. Because once you're going down the freeway, you just you just never know, so I'm going to get up there and do that. So I was able to get the wilderness cart in here, and uh, there's that front uh, con uh, container there for the uh, where I'm going to mount my uh, my Garmin and my uh, camera mount. But I got that in there, and uh, that bad boy is on there. So, uh, well, we'll have to adjust that if we go, but uh, there it is right there. Uh, Big Fish 120 on the uh, Toyota 4Runner there. Looking good. Look at that. Man, I tell you. Beautiful looking there. I like that right there. I tell you, we're going to we're going to catch a lot of fish in that that kayak. I, no, it's going to be great. Saltwater fishing Tampa. Back again. Well, we made it back home. Uh, no problems, no issues. Everything stayed on there. Oh yeah, it uh, stayed on there really good. Look at that. Ah, uh, the Malone stayed on there, and the uh, big, uh, the big fish is home. <laughs> yeah. Uh, hopefully we can uh, we can dunk this thing and uh, put some fish in the boat. But anyways, uh, big fish is home, and uh, gonna put it in the garage. So I just uh, moved the kayak. I undid it and uh, just brought the back end down just like that, and it's resting right up here. You can see where it's resting right up there and I'm just gonna get the uh, kayak cart and uh, bring it in the garage and put it on the sawhorses. That's all there is to it. Well, now we got the kayak home. I'm just gonna get the uh, wilderness cart and uh, put it on it and uh, bring it right in. I'll show you, hang on. This is the great wilderness systems uh, cart. I like this, uh, look at this, it was 200 bucks there. Look at these tires, I mean, fantastic, lightweight. I mean, you can set it at different height adjustments. This is this is really neat, really easy. So, uh, 
let me see how how I can take this down here. But um, just set it here for now. Let's see how this goes. But I'm going to take this down this way here. Lift it here like this, and get this big bad boy off here. It weighs 100 pounds. So uh, just set it down like that. Get this cart here. I'm going to try and get this where I can set it on the cart. First time I've done it, so uh, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. There you go. Not too bad. Look at that. Let me pull it up a little bit more. Yeah, that's really nice. Let's get a picture of that. Let's, uh, let's see what it looks like underneath. Just like that right there. See how it sits? Just beautifully. Look at that. Nice. Very nice kayak. I've got that center console part, that, that tray that goes in here, my transducer, and my camera pod will go on there. Really nice. Look at that. Going to put it right in the garage. Just going to bring it right up there. i got some sawhorses. Okay, let's give this a shot and bring it in. Just like that, and I'm gonna put it on the um, I'm gonna put it on the saw horses in the garage. I got some saw horses for now. I'm gonna put it out in the garage, and um, then we'll take it from there, and we'll build it, and uh, you get to watch it. So that's that's really cool. So, well, I hope everybody enjoyed me picking up the kayak. I had a great time with my wife going to Auburndale at Action Water Sports to pick it up. David was a really good help. So. Uh, Stay tuned for more, for a lot more fishing, and especially out of the kayak. And uh, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Give me a thumbs up for a like. And until next time, see you on the water.